Guys, guys, guys. I just want to talk. There's a lot uh, I have to share with you over the next few uploads. It may be decades before the truth around this case comes to light. And the survivors will speak up when they are ready. But I would like to start uploading again. Now, you've probably heard a lot of different things about me. <laughs> uh, distinguishing between what's real and what's not uh, is a challenge in the year 2024. <laughs> and it's probably only going to get harder as time goes on. Um, mass psychosis is very real. And I'm sure you all can pretty much feel it at this point. Now, people have taken my silence as an omission of guilt. That is not the case. I was simply respecting the wishes of those I was advocating for. But I am not the monstrous villain that I've been caricaturized as. Uh, I don't care. I don't care who says I'm doing this for money or clout. I have lost that <laughs> and I'm still doing this work because it truly matters, because it's, it is very important work. We need to refocus our conversations on uh, future generations that are facing multiple global threats um, that we are all perpetuating. And uh, there's so much work we have to do to help them. So if you take away one thing from this channel, let it be this. Crimes against children remains one of the most devastating sources of injustice and suffering for humanity. That is a fact. So yes, absolutely call the police when you have been harmed or your children have been harmed. However, that is just the first step in a very long and difficult process that most victims give up on and most children go without seeing justice. However, we can rebuild the infrastructural issues with law enforcement and legal processes to ensure more kids are getting restorative justice that they deserve. And hopefully one day we can prevent crimes from happening to children at all. That is my mission, okay? Because justice is not freely given. It is something we must fight for. And that sucks because a lot of kids can't fight. They don't even know where to begin. They probably don't even know that a crime is being committed against them most times. Cyber crimes against children continues to rise at an unprecedented scale. And the psychological exploitation of technology will destroy us if we do not correct these patterns. That is my belief. Those who have a voice must speak for those who are voiceless. So with that said, I will see you soon.